You want the paper? What's up, y'all? So, uh, we here. Look who I found. So, we in this triage room. Um, basically, we waiting. We don't have a bunch of information yet, except that out of all of these contractions and being up since 3 o'clock this morning, he's still not ready to come out. So, we're going to have to help him. Right, not even one. So we'll figure it out. But even still, guess what our goal is for today? Healthy mom, healthy baby boy. Let's talk to the people. Talk to the people. I always got my bonnet on, y'all. My hair is fluttering, and I just didn't want to braid it. Cause I really don't like braids, but I also wanted it to be manageable, so I straightened it so I don't have to worry about the curls when we get out of here. And I'm just gonna have my I don't know if they're gonna make me take this off or not, but if they do, um, it's gonna put my hair in a bun, and then when I get home, I'm gonna wrap it and I'm gonna wear it wrapped for like month <laughs> until we get used to the schedule but that way my hair will be easy to manage but anyway that's why i have a bonnet on just so y'all know i always got a bonnet on all the videos but not all of them but anyways this hurts really bad <laughs> thank god it's not something that's constant and it's like you know sporadic Oh, the baby moving. He won't sit still. It took the nurse, what, like, what, babe, like 10 minutes to find his heartbeat? Yeah. Because he just kept moving, and he does not like being touched by these little monitor things. He don't like stuff being on my stomach. Because he just kicks at it. Back up! Back up! And just rolls over and everything. But I am so sleepy, guys. I've been up since like I think I've been up since like two o'clock two or three o'clock like just I first felt like this might be too TMI but when I first felt um it wasn't my water that broke but there's this other thing that comes out before your water breaks it's called a mucus plug it's exactly what it sounds like <laughs> nasty but anyway so I that woke me up out my sleep. Like, I felt that come out. It woke me up out my sleep. I thought I peed on myself. But it ended up being that. And as soon as that came out, my contractions started. So, yeah. And they are currently about eight, seven, eight minutes apart. So, 
We have a long way to go. Um, they say you shouldn't really come into the hospital until like three to five minutes, but I was scheduled for an induction. Like I was scheduled to be induced for eight o'clock and it was just hurting. So I was like, no, I need to be around people who know what to do, who are, you know, who can give me pain medicine, all that stuff. But I'm just rambling. I'm so sleepy, like so sleepy. So I'm probably about to get some sleep and then I'll be back later. So y'all talk to Tim. I'm done for now. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. I've heard. having that conversation with you. It was with the girl. With the girl, okay. How about to say babe? <laughs> I'm not, yeah. I'm not too crazy right now, but like... I think I'm having it. Is, is it wearing off? So I no. should have asked her how long it's hurt. She told you it was still hurt. It just takes the edge off. Yeah, but it feels like it's wearing off. It's not wearing off. That is to take the edge off, Pop. Mm -hmm. The fact that you're to talking to me through a contraction is take the edge off. I guess. Because usually I'll be yelling. Exactly. But. You're having a whole conversation with me. But. update we are still here um we got here at 7 20 ish a little bit earlier um they've given her some different medications and done some different um you know methods of kind of inducing labor so we've still been waiting um but she's been a trooper, she's been a champ. They got on some pain meds, so she's all hopped up on pain meds. Um, but she ain't all the way loopy yet. But um, but she'll just wait in. So we'll see y'all in the next update. All right, y'all, so uh, another update. Now we are at the point to where her water broke. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> That's nasty. So, um, um, she's trying to get me to cover her back up so she can be in the video. She's doing too much movement and what she's trying to do is scratch herself. Um, so, um, no, not really. Uh, she wants she want to be on the camera, y'all, so here she go. Hey, y'all. So, okay. So they just gave me so my water broke, like Tim said. And I just got the epidural. 
Um, first of all, oh my eye itch. I don't know about this part. No, you can't scratch nothing. Anyway, so first of all, she just told you you can't scratch nothing. Yeah, I know, but like, why is the mess all the way in my eye? It's, it's going throughout your whole body. But okay, so <laughs> I just got the epidural, right? First of all, it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. It hurt a little bit just because it's a needle. But it's scary because I can't see when it, like, whenever I get my blood drawn or whenever I get, like, when I got the COVID shot and stuff like that, I like to see when they're sticking me so I don't tense up, so I don't move and stuff. And I just breathe. But I couldn't see because the epidural goes in your back. And so the first time she was about to put it in, I jumped a little. And they were like, uh-uh, you can't do that. <laughs> So then the second time I was just like, okay, we should concentrate, just chill out, you know what's coming, just, you know what it feels like mm, since it happened already, because she poked me, but then she had to take it back out, because I jumped, but yeah, so if you ever get the epidural, if you're pregnant and you get the epidural, just try to stay calm, try to breathe through it, and like, the doctor should tell you like, okay, you're going to feel this, and then you're gonna feel what they said. Like my doctor said, I'm gonna feel a bee sting, and it did feel like a little bee prick. Oh my eye! So the main thing right now is we're letting the epidural spread through my body. One of the side effects, at least here, I don't know if it's for everybody, is that your body itches. Um, she said legs at first, but it's definitely everywhere. Like my face is itching right now and my arms are itching. My legs were itching at first, but now my legs are just really warm and I think they're getting numb, so I can't feel the itch in them. But everywhere else is still kind of itching and not numb. Uh, my stomach is itching really, really good. <laughs> and even my eyes are kind of itching, so I don't know if that's a part of it, but like literally everywhere is itching, like under my nose is itching my stomach, my arms, and yeah. But, so now we're in the home stretch. My water broke, so we about to hopefully push this little boy out today. Mm, my face itches, sorry y'all. I'm finna get off this camera cause I'm itching. And I'm trying to concentrate, not to scream. All right. Hey y'all, so we getting close to the time. Um, she's sitting up. I'm gonna show y'all her in a minute, but she's sitting up. Uh, we're we're at the last little bit. I'm talking real close because I gotta have my mask on right now, and his heartbeat is like, you know, DJ in the place right now. Um, you hear that? Hear that? Hear that sick beat? That's my son. Hear that sick beat? That's my son. That's my son. So. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show y'all her, but we're getting close.
Eight nine. Eight Boom. Nine, nine. I knew it. My goodness.